Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Um, so here's another quick video on um, my entry for the swap that's going here on my YouTube page, Tiffany Crafting Like a Boss McGill, and on my Facebook page, Coffee Cake and Crafting. Um, so last month in April, um, I was part of the swap on uh, Tamika's page at Scrap the World, and we did pocket letter inserts. It's the second time that I've participated in that swap, and it's a lot of fun. So that's why I wanted to bring it over to my page. Um, on Tamika's page, I was in the clean and simple group and I came up with this card and I have a video on how I made it and what I used. Um, so I thought for my page, I wanted it to be a coffee themed pocket letter. So everyone's doing coffee themed now, however they interpret it is how they interpret it. Whether they do a coffee saying, a coffee cup, um, coffee colors, I, I don't know, haven't seen them yet. So I'm excited to see. Um, so here's my entry for my swap which is this so it's a cup of coffee and it says love you latte um so they're all a little bit different because you know well pretty much the same it's just the background paper is a little bit different because you know how you cut into paper but this is how mine come packaged so they're going to come packaged on a little tag in a bag and then here's the goodie which is um some burlap and lace wired ribbon some seam binding and some other lace and i just used a piece of paper on the back and this is the, um, for the tag, I used this sheet of paper. And for the background, I used this sheet. And I know it's teapots, but who says you can't put coffee in a teapot, right? I loved it. And that's from, I think it's Die Cuts with a View Tea Party. I don't know. Something like that. And I also used Recollections um, Burlap Flowers, and I got these when they were on clearance, and I got them a while ago, I just now used them. And I used this coffee set, which I used for the first one. This is a Just Right Clear Coffee House Stamps. Um, I used this bottom one here. I used my Tim Holtz um, Vintage Photo Dist Distress Ink around the corners and this one I only um, I want to give it a little different shape so I only punched the two edges I thought that was really cute and I colored it in using my Stampin' Up markers so I used several colors to get it to be the color that I want it um, the middle heart inside the coffee is early espresso which is a dark brown and then the middle heart I guess um, is apricot appeal so it's more like an apricot color like a peachy color and then I colored all of it with um, creamy caramel so it just looks like coffee and um, with a coffee cup I um, you can't really see in this lighting but I actually gold embossed it so I stamped it with stays on ink and put gold embossing powder on it um, I colored the rim of the plate with um, Coral, what's it called? Something. Mm, Cameo Coral is the marker. And then I also colored with this marker on top of that, which this one is Regal Rose. So these are the old 2008 Stampin' Up! colors. Um, I don't use them as often as I should because, I mean, they were expensive for the whole thing. It was like $110. So I should be using them every day. But anyway, um, what else did I use? I used some um, Martha Stewart Fine Glitter. I used a silver paint pen to do the spoon. And the rim, I think I just used the Regal Rose. Not the rim, but the plate. I used the Regal Rose just on that. So, and the paper already is shimmery. So, the flowers are already glittered. Um, this comes from the stamp set as well. It's supposed to look like the steam. And it says, Love You Latte. And I gold embossed that. So on one of them, I did, I tried it a couple ways. The one that I keep for myself, I stamped it in black. Um, I don't even know what I did with it. I stamped it in black in the Love You Latte. I mean, it looked okay, but it wasn't my favorite. So then I did it in gold on acetate. And then I put it on the white backing. And it looks... It looks really nice, but it was a lot of work and it was really hard to like 
keep the acetate from melting. So I just stamped it on white and um, embossed it on white. So I think it looked really good. And then on the back, I just put the cream, um, what did I say that color was? Cameo Coral. I just put that on the back and inked the edges with the vintage photo. Um, and then how my questions are answered. My questions were bigger than the card. Um, I didn't think to resize the wording. I just printed it off really quick and then, um, you know, so I had to do something. So I just stuck it on the card. It's I used a uh, removable um, glue so you can easily just peel it off and then use the tag however you want. But you'll still have my information. So it'll go on the pack. That one, last one will go on the package like this. And that's my swap. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.